home and lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hafiday and welcome to the Health, Home and Lifestyle edition of KUAM News Extra. I'm Issa Baza, so glad you could join us. Coming up in tonight's show, we tell you about the very first Core 6 class of 2017 and one man's journey to get fit before he walks down the aisle in March of this year. But first, here's this week's Health Check Report with nurse Jen Artero. Health Check is presented by Island Cancer Center. Half a day, I'm Nurse Jen and you're watching Health Check. It's a new year and it can be a new you too. Are you a light, casual, intermittent, occasional or social smoker? While the research for these types of smokers are new and just starting to evolve, it's still important to understand the effects that tobacco has on your health. Most research is cornered specifically on how it affects your heart and lungs. But here's the scoop so far. Casual or social smokers carry nearly the same risk for heart disease as a person who smokes cigarettes every day. In addition, a new federal study found that intermittent or social smokers are also at an increased risk of earlier death. Dr. Maki Choi, an NCI researcher who published her findings in JAMA, Journal of American Medical Association Internal Medicine, found that social smokers also have a high link to lung cancer. But why is research so limited on this topic? It's limited because of you. Each of you have a very different definition of what a light, intermittent, occasional, casual, or social smoker is. Is it less than four sticks in one week, or is it less than four sticks in one day? Ah, here lies the debate. However, there is no debate among researchers that social smokers underestimate the true healthcare risk involved. Nonetheless, heart disease and lung cancer are real. Symptoms you should look out for include persistent, long-term or intense coughing, pain in the chest area, mucus color changes, coughing up blood, difficulty breathing, a coarse, hoarse-like voice, and repeated bouts of bronchitis or pneumonia. Sadly, these are the symptoms associated with lung cancer, which causes approximately one of every three deaths in the U.S. Researchers around the world and our own local doctors right here on Guam agree on one thing. The best action that you can do today is to completely stop smoking altogether. I'm Nurse Jen reminding you, don't wreck yourself, help check yourself. Tune in next week Tuesday for Health Check on KUAM News Extra with me, Nurse Jen. Email me your health and wellness questions or topics of interest to nursejen at KUAM.com. Health Check is presented by Island Cancer Center. Thanks, Nurse Jen. Stay tuned. Up next, more health, home, and lifestyle. Health, home, and lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hafiday and welcome back to Health, Home and Lifestyle. I'm here at Paradise Fitness Center, of course, with Coach Greg and Coach Dez. And this is the very first week of Core 6, a fitness program which has just been really growing here at Paradise Fitness Center. So can you guys tell us a little bit about um, the kind of growth you're seeing in the new year? Um, yeah, you know, this, like, like you said, this, is, this has become a, a growing program and uh, what we noticed this time around is uh, we've attracted an even broader demographic than we did last time. Um, there is a, a bigger difference in the age, um, the ages of the people who are joining and also just different walks of life. So um, it's, it's growing, people are becoming more familiar with the program and now it's even expanded to the Delido location. So it's growing in that, in that sense as well. Um, so we, we definitely have a bigger turnout than we did the last time. Okay, and so uh, there are a lot more people, uh, even I noticed just that orientation and here at the first class, mm -hmm. uh, the Tuesday uh, 1230 class is usually pretty small, but it was pretty packed today. So uh, Greg, what are some of the things that you saw in orientation? 
Um, you know, orientation, uh, that's the first like glance that Coach Des and I get at the group. So oh, leading up to it, we're always a little nervous and apprehensive just because we don't know how the turnout's going to be or what kind of people are going to be there, if they're going to like us as coaches or not. And, you know, there's always that, that intimidation factor, not only from the group, but from us as well. So, you know, a lot of the... A lot of the members, they wouldn't ad openly admit it, but a lot were scared, you know. Um, they were worried that they weren't going to be able to stick through the program. But, you know, with Core 6, we always try to uh, instill the courage and the confidence that you can do it. I mean, if you take breaks, it's okay, but, uh, you know, what matters is that you finish. So that's what we try to foster here. So um, I definitely like, I think one of the things I really like about Core 6 is that it, it includes everyone. So, you know, I just like, it's really intimidating when you go into the gym and you see all like the bodybuilders, no offense guys. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, I don't even know how to bodybuild. I don't fit in here. But program like Core 6 is really cool because you just see everyone and everyone's at a different level. We had some of the people coming back who were in the last Core 6 and, you know, their fitness levels kind of improved. And then you had other people who were maybe just starting out like we were the last time and you mentioned we even had a lot of um, people who are recovering from injuries mm -hmm. and just trying to get their bodies back on track mm -hmm. um, yeah we we have people who I mean that's one thing that we noticed from orientation just people kind of mentioning their concern about injuries uh, so we've been getting a lot more of that um, and what we try to tell people and, and you know you'll hear you'll hear, hear this from your doctor as well is that even though you're recovering from an in injury you still want to exercise and not nurse your you know nurse your injury so um, we we assure everyone that you know we'll scale movements um, so that it doesn't agitate anything uh, but we try to accommodate everybody uh, injury or injury free um, we also have a lot a lot of um, younger people taking the class like teenagers mm -hmm. um, I think the youngest is what, what is he 11 um, and he's taking it with his mom so it's you know again it's just kind of opening up to a lot of different ages and um, different demographics. So it's, it's really, really nice and inspiring for us to see. Definitely. I think that's something that's really important mm -hmm. because, you know, when people think about fitness, they think about themselves or they think, uh, you know, like, oh, I need to go running. I need to go walking. But something, fitness is something that's good to think about as far as families go, you mm -hmm. know. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a fun activity, pastime that you can do with your kids, your mom, your sisters. And it brings you together, so it has that bonding element, but it also works towards um, better health for you and your family. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what are, any goals or expectations that you've seen from the group so far? I know a lot of people were starting out at different levels, and so you had to kind of tweak the program um, a little bit in the first couple of days. Well, so for the first couple of days, we kind of set the bar a little bit higher than we did last time, but that's because we're trying to find that that threshold right now. So. A lot of the people yesterday were saying this isn't a beginner workout, but of course when you step out of your comfort zone and you have two coaches like us pushing you past what you think is physically capable or what your body has ever done, it, it's going to shock you, it's going to freak you out. But like we said in orientation, that's our goal for those first two weeks. So our expectations are the same. Uh, we always aim to deliver. So the fat loss goals, we have lots of different goals this time. People trying to get into tux like Brian. Uh, him and his fiance getting ready for their wedding, and then just people who are trying to become more agile and mobile. So this this program is a little bit more broad than the last time, but I think the ex the results will still be exponential. And you know, someone asked me this. They asked. Uh, they saw Chris and I at the orientation, and they asked, "Oh, why are you guys joining again? You already did Core Six, and it's just because it's you know it really built this kind of habit with us, and we kind of built that foundation. So we know how to work out." outside of the class we you know it's not like we had to do this program again but I think it's just having that momentum there with the class really helps us drive us toward whatever goals we have so I know for this year um, we're working towards training for a half marathon so that's something that this class we're really hoping is going to help us work towards and we've just seen so much progress and also you know uh, we made a lot of friends through this program so it's something we want to keep moving forward and um, just to touch on this a little bit we had a really active group chat for the past couple of days. Yeah. Uh, any interesting things you've noticed from the group chat? Um, I mean, well, yeah, it, it's always interesting getting to know everyone's personalities and everything. But 
Um, what I just like is, is that it's plain and simply that, it's active, you know, and that's a huge component. It sounds so simple, but it, it's a huge component when it comes to this program. It, it, it's very instrumental for, for everyone because, um, again, they, you know, everyone feeds off of each other's energy, and it's nice. They become interactive, and like you mentioned, you made a lot of friends through this program, and that's how it's done, you know. People just kind of get to know, know each other through the chat, and that kind of builds confidence when it comes to being in session with them. Um, so, I mean, it, a lot of people are, are kind of already building rapport through the group chat. All right, well, thanks so much, guys. I'm excited to see where this program goes. I know it's going to be another really successful course six, so we'll be tracking it throughout the next uh, six weeks. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more health, home, and lifestyle after the break. Home and Lifestyle, presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hafere, and welcome back to Health, Home, and Lifestyle. I'm here at Paradise Fitness Center where it's New Year, new me, everybody's kicking off their New Year's resolutions, and today was the very first day of Course 6. So Brian, how is the, the first day of class for you? Actually, uh, it was pretty intensive today. First of all, I want to thank Coach Dez and Coach Greg for allowing me to find myself here. I didn't think I'd last through, last long through this first day. Um, I almost want to walk out right now, but uh, but with the sport here, um, I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick to it. Okay, so definitely, you know, uh, Core Six is a, a fitness program here at Paradise Fitness Center, six weeks long, and it's meant to kickstart your fitness goals. And the first day is notorious for being super hard. It kind of um, jump starts. Uh, for people who have never been in the gym before or who haven't been working out for a while. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, your motivation for wanting to get involved in the program? Well, actually, I've never ever, I'm 31 years old, I've never decided, I've never thought of working on my health or, or working on the gym at all. I just started this this year and um, I, I like it so far and the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm, I'm tired of being mediocre, you know what I mean? Uh, I want to find myself a fit, I want to be that guy in the beach. Some people are like, like you know, like Coach Greg, whoa. <laughs> Who's that guy, you know? And also, um, um, I'm getting married on March 4th here on Guam. That's why I'm here. I'm actually from Vegas. We're in town just for our wedding on March 4th, and that's why I'm trying to get myself fit so I can look good in that tux. <laughs> okay, and I know uh, for you, uh, you've been going to the gym because I know I've been seeing you here at the Again in Paradise. Um, every now and then I'll see you here at the gym. So what made you decide to go from working out on your own to joining a group fitness program like Core 6? Well, I've been doing this in Las Vegas for like six months, and then I just came back here, like I said, for a wedding. And coming here and seeing these beasts like Desiree and Greg, it motivates me more, so, you know, to find the beast inside me, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Definitely, like, uh, I know for, at least for myself, when I work out on my own in the gym, I never push myself quite as far as Coach Des and Coach Greg push us, so it's good to kind of have someone there to guide you. And also, oh, yeah. if you don't really know what you're doing, like mm -hmm. before I jo uh, joined Core 6, I had no idea what to do in the weight room. I didn't know about barbells or uh, bars or kettlebells, so it really kind of opened my eyes. But it's nice to see that you're doing this actually yeah, with, uh, with a partner. So you mentioned you're getting uh, married, and you're doing this with your fiance? Yeah, my fiance, Rochelle Poisson. That's where my fiance is, <laughs> my very beautiful fiance. <laughs> okay, so uh, so first day, today is actually the first day of classes, but the first day was really on Saturday when we had orientation, and that's where they kind of take all your biometric data, your weight, your body fat. So uh, how was that experience for you? It was new. I was actually ashamed because, you know, I, 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 I always um, downgraded myself. You know, I don't really look as good as most people, but I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to take this on. Definitely. New Year, uh, ready to kickstart our goals. Yep. And, um, you know, uh, something that's really been active in the, in the group chat is there's been a lot of people talking about uh, things that they're trying to do in the new year. So if you miss orientation, maybe you miss the nutritional part, uh, like kind of a, an update of what the program is, there are a lot of people asking questions. So what, have you, what are your thoughts on the group chat? I think it's a perfect, it's, it's a good support system for, for everyone to get their, their thoughts out there. If they need questions asked, and everyone else can help them out in this group chat. So I think it's perfect for, for the core six. Okay, um, and as far as your first day of class today, it was pretty intense. People were coming out with all kinds of slogans for today. <laughs> Today's class, people were, were yelling out things like, I'm feeling myself, <laughs> Lord have mercy, <laughs> things like that. So you even said, call the firemen. 
<laughs> this guy's like the jokester of the class. So was <laughs> it was it what kind of what you were expecting? Well, um, when we worked out, you know, we don't want it to be boring, so I try to keep it fun in here so everybody can keep going. But as far as the intensity, did you think it was going to be oh, definitely. this intense? Most definitely. No, I did not think it was going to be this intense. I was up for a challenge. <laughs> if you ever seen me, man, I was, I was dying out out there, but I stuck to it. Okay, so, you know, um, you, you obviously made the jump. You're here in the gym. You joined the program, and you're doing this with a partner, so that's um, definitely something that's going to help you keep yourself accountable over the next six weeks. But for maybe other people in the community, you, you know, you said you started this journey a few months ago, maybe six months ago, getting back into the gym. Um, you know, what's your advice for other people out there who might be thinking, hey, you know, I want to make a change. I want to start going to the gym. I got a little advice. If Christopher Columbus can sell the world, what's your excuse about getting in the gym? Just that. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks so much. I, I'll see you throughout all the rest of the classes cool. here at Core 6. Thanks again. Thanks again. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more health, home, and lifestyle after the break. Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live Moss. Health, home, and lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center. Changing lives since 1996. Well, that's it for tonight's show. Don't forget if there's a health, home, or lifestyle topic you'd like to see us cover, email me at isa at kuam.com. We'll see you next week and stay healthy, Guam. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.